Good morning, all of you. When we say united we stand, divided we fall, and when in the scenario of COVID-19 terror, we say it the other way. Divided we stand, united we fall. So social distancing must be followed. Isn't it amazing? So I am very happy to learn from all of you that you all are doing things great, keeping your morale high up, your spirits high up. Today, through this lesson, we are trying to learn courage. You know what courage is? Today's kids are very adventurous. There is a bit of a difference between staying sensibly in some adventures and staying uh, insensible uh, in things like that. Taking risks. Kids do so. Somebody out there would say, if there are rules, we are to break them. So it is good to, to initiate things that are adventurous, that give you an uh, adrenal rush, that put you in some problem deliberately and you try to come out of it successfully. You feel elated, you feel happy. But is it every time worth risking your life, your resources, the people around or other things? Have you ever been in any kind of adventurous journey? You might have your own experiences. I too have my own experiences. When we are naughty, actually they are indulging in some or the other adventures. Isn't it? So that is the thing that we do more often. But the ultimate lesson is be it courage, adventure or anything else, anything like that. We have to perform our duties, our tasks sensibly. If your mind is cool and the blood has the energy, it's a good and okay com combination. And if you are losing your senses, you're not staying cool and thinking wisely, that may put you in some threat, in some danger. Through this chapter, we are going to learn so many such aspects that I'm going to definitely touch for you. The chapter, as the title indicates, we are not afraid to die. So it's the sense of belonging. It's the sense of oneness. United we stand. If we are united, I do not fear anything. You would say you are a class of fabulous students and you fear not when you are together. As a school, you are together. You are one family. So many individuals, but you are one family. So many individuals, students, teachers and other things that you stay united, you are strong. United we stand, divided we fall. In terms of COVID-19 terror, the lockdown status, respecting the social distancing, respecting the situation when Corona warriors are there to instruct us, to guide us, they are risking their lives, but they have to because somebody must take the risk. That is okay. But since we are ignorant of so many things, we have to perform it in a way as to stay away from the supermarkets, the other things, roaming around, loitering around, loafing around in the streets. We have to stay away. So if we are divided right now, we will stay. We will stand. But here in the chapter, the feel that comes from the title itself is we are not afraid to die if we can all be together. So there is a condition. 
you must have come across sentences like they are, they are conditional sentences if you do this i would do this this is conditional sentence i hope these things are to some extent at least clear to all of you if you give me one rupee i'll give you this thing this is a condition that you put before doing something in lieu of money somebody would give you your services his or her services that is in return you get so this is conditional a is equal to b b is equal to c applies or implies that a would definitely be equal to c in mathematical terms if you take it like that there must be a condition behind in order to 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 make the next move in this chapter we study courage that when you are trapped in a desperate situation how you react or respond i'll focus on two things today reacting to some situation you may do it as an instinct but responding to a certain situation it is definitely that you have thought upon the plan well but sometimes we have to react instantly they must come that is called the reaction time the batsman hits the ball and it touches the bat and moves to slip so the person has to the fielder the player has to react so reaction time is very important but whatever you do now i am coming on to the point that i wanted to deliver the point here is that have you thought upon if not now practice up practiced upon if you are reacting right now uh, well because only through practice that reaction time would be polished otherwise not if it is by default in you the almighty god has gifted you with all these capabilities mental faculties that is okay otherwise not so things must be practiced so with so without doing your homework if you step into the classroom that is a fault if without doing my homework i step into the classroom doesn't matter whether i am teacher or not all right i am I'm, i'm the boss no 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 everybody has to prepare first and then perform next in order to be polished so practice 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 and practice so this text we are not afraid to die if we can all be together talks of unity talks of oneness talks of courage but it also touches the various other aspects as well let me tell you the chapter is written by gordon cook an alienist and he wanted to initiate or replicate the correct word is replicate a journey that had been uh, that had earlier been done by somebody else 200 300 something like that years we we'll correct ourselves with the figure okay so the title the significance of the title and who says because these are quoted words these are this is a quoted thing we are not afraid to die somebody must say this thing so who is the person who said this thing and later on we find we discover and we are thrilled to find that it was the littlest one in the team who said so we are not afraid to die if we can all be together i am ready to die but we must be together the feeling of oneness we are a family we are strong i am strong when i am with you otherwise i am a lonely guy it, the chapter talks of courage it starts with the initiation of somebody it is called autobiographical in nature so it's it is uh, it is a joint venture in writing here gordon cook and alan east the experience is fabulous what happens when uh, somebody enters into the stormy sea it's not very easy 
द मोमेंट यू स्टेप इन टू द वेव्स यू वुड बी रैचिंग जब जहाज ऐसे हिलता है ना ऐसे ऐसे करके और आपकी सर नीचे और पैर ऊपर लाइक दैट दिस दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस आई टू हैव जस्ट वन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ सिटिंग इन सम स्ट्रीमर आई वाज अमेज हे भगवान कहां फंस गए लोग ट्रेलिंग पकड़ लेते हैं लाइक दैट सो देयर आर पीपल हु शो करेज बट इफ द लिटलेस्ट वन वुड शो करेज दैट वुड बी बियॉन्ड कंपेरिजन A grown-up is courageous, exhibits courage. It's okay, but a child says some words of courage. The world would be, oh wow, what a sweet little child! And how does he say so? Amazing! Oh my goodness, people would be amazed beyond limits. So, as readers, when we come across such a statement from some. little child and the entire family is is trapped in a very desperate situation we feel elated we feel hopeful so the chapter in that sense talks about one very important aspect of <clears throat> of life and that is no matter what the situation is be hopeful so this chapter the text type is particularly uh, it talks about an adventurous journey and the journey has a purpose behind they just wanted to replicate gordon cook wanted to replicate his wife helps him in doing so both get united and the entire how can they leave the children behind they take them along they are four members of the family and with some other crew members and they move into the sea remember the name of the ship wave walker wave walker is the name of the ship and wave walker is a strong thing wave walker is a tough thing it walks on the waves fights against tormenting waves is it's a trying situation not only for the human beings but particularly for the boat itself but the people we find the boat we find here are tough the family stays united i am to inspire others supposedly i am a teacher but suppose a child a sweet little child you all inspire me i always admit that you are my source of inspiration when you are enthusiastic i learn enthusiasm from you when you are in discipline i learn to be in discipline uh, as well when you are doing the things fantastic i learn oh wow let me do uh, uh, like that i feel inspired so the amazing thing is that the inspiration ultimately is coming through a sweet little child and the girl who had bumped her head against some hard surface or hard thing she says something fantastic so the girl and the child and, and the other in the boy the young sweet little child they inspire us to stay united the entire family along with the crew members particularly the children they inspire us to to be hopeful situations would be trying definitely this is life and it's not a bed of roses every time you may have happy or sad situations but how tall graceful erect you stand against all such situations is the thing that is to be learned through this chapter we are not afraid to die if we can all be together so the thematic idea can be taken like that it's just an adventurous journey the intention was to replicate some voyage done before some centuries ago and gordon cook initiated this process they take along the the two children the girl with the elder one 
the boy who is the younger, youngest, I would say youngest one. And there are other crew members. And they their walking house that is the wave walker. So there is a description of the family. There is a description of the situation. There is a description of the ship that is wave walker. So this time I would say that even the ship has a character sketch. It is tough. And becomes tougher when the situations are desperate. Wave walker. I would want to once again reiterate the, the thing that I want every prose or poetry to be followed by any learner. Read any chapter at three levels. What it talks about. What is the thematic idea? What is the text type and other things related? There are characters in uh, the text. It might be a story or anything like that, but there might be must be some character. If there is a character, there must be a character sketch and there must be a story behind. So always and always and always at three levels, you have to go through any chapter, the thematic idea, the, uh, <coughs> the story and the characters and their character sketch. And all must be blended to make the chapter coming well in you. Readings would definitely help you. Loud reading to enjoy the text, to practice your vocal skills, to practice public speaking. Particularly, it is very essential to learn all these things. And in order to have better and better and better than the best in sight, as much as there is no limit to learning. Inside into the chapter, you have to go through the story silently in mind. Do not even move your lips. Sit like this and read. Concentrate, focus, focus. Where you have your study table or anything where you uh, study. Don't sleep on the couch and try to complete your home assignment. Please do not do so. It's a wrong method. Find a place that is most comfortable for you, <laughs> not the bed, you will go to sleep. And be there every time when you do something as study. Make it a definite place. Take your time, find a place in your room, in your house and make it definite for you. Okay. So it would it would train your mind in what manner? As soon as you would move to that place, the mind would get triggered, the neurons in you would get triggered. And they would direct your actions. They would say, Oh, it is time to learn. The mind would say, Mind is amazing. You must understand, I tell you, you can confirm it from anywhere. It's all science. Mind can be trained. So train your mind to make you proficient in things. Whatever you do, polish it to all limits. Let there be errors. Let there be flaws. Why to fear? So failures are stepping stones to success, isn't it? A for apple to Z for zebra. This is what English is. It's not unlimited. It is very limited. If you practice well, you get it. The mother tongue that we practice Hindi. We have fabulous vocabulary in Hindi. You can explain so many things. You can write so many things beautifully. And at the same time, you can be grammatically correct. But you falter, you, you make flaws when you write in some alien language. For us, it would be language number two, L2, we say technically. This is English. So we commit flaws because we have not practiced enough. I'll quickly come on to pinpointing what I mean, particularly with the chapter. 
because when they try to replicate the journey they practice first they do their homework well aisa nahi hai muh uthaya aur wo bhi nahi dhoya aur pahunch gaye samudra mein are hum to kar lenge the the waves would devour you within no time you cannot fight the waves until and unless you are trained enough so when gordon ko try to replicate the journey and even taking their children with the help of other crew members also they practice first this is what you must follow practice first when you are done when you are fully confident not over confident minded then only step into the situation so doing the homework is a good thing because it is going to do you good now i will give you the moral reading and the explanation we are not afraid to die if we can all be together by gordon cook and alan east and it talks about the fantastic voyage that was replicated by them that they replicate in order to to enjoy the same adrenal rush in order to enjoy the same experience so this is the purpose of this journey sequel you say you are thrilled so you want to do something so this is something as a voyage in july please keep on noting down the important points as well in 1976 my wife mary son zonathan 6 years of age daughter suzanne 7 years of age and i set from plymouth so this is first hand experience i first person set sail from plymouth england to do what to duplicate the round the world voyage round the world hyphen is in between these words are called compound words because individual words are put together to make one single feel it's a combination of three words round the world voyage made 200 years before by whom by captain james cook the world renowned person james cook and they were so inspired with that voyage that took all the dangers very courageously and emerged a success they just wanted to follow those footprints and they replicate the journey this is what is talked about here for the longest time mary and i a 37 year old businessman talking of him had dreamt of sailing in the wake of the famous explorer that is james cook and for the past 16 years we had spent all our leisure time honing our seafaring skills in british waters this is what i was trying to tell you do your homework well before you step into something else 16 long years 16 long years people get bored but they were desperate so first is your desire in you but are you committed enough to apply your efforts so they replicate but they practice 16 years 16 years of practice they research upon the idea what they are going to do they research upon to take care of all the loopholes that somebody might have committed and they are not going to to be in that situation that is what is requisite so the chapter takes a sea voyage and it gives us a thrilling experience what in first person they do and we witness that and when we go through those lines we are thrilled every time so enjoy the text i i repeat enjoy the text and loud reading as well our boat wave walker what is that a 23 meter 30 ton wooden hulled beauty it's beautiful boat and it is tough at the same time it is not just beauty it's a strong thing proven later a boat wave walker a 23 meter 30 ton wooden hull beauty had been professionally built fit to be in that situation so until and unless the thing is fit enough how can you put it into a situation so once again homework they have to choose wisely 
fitting it out and testing it in the roughest weather we could find. So they imagined the roughest of the weathers and they tested the ship because their life depends on wave walker. They must test doing the homework. So they practiced all these things. They researched to all extents with all the spirits and they do it so wisely. The first leg of our planned three year 105,000 kilometer journey passed pleasantly as we sailed down the, the west coast of Africa to Cape Town. From here to here, Africa to Cape Town. There, before heading east, we took on two crewmen. What are the names? American Larry Vigil and Swayze Herb Siglo. These are the two crewmen. So how many total members are there? Four are the family members, two are the crewmen. There before heading east, we took on two crewmen, American Larry Vigil and Swayze Herb Siegler to help us tackle what was the purpose behind taking them, taking them along. They were to help because they too were trained professionals. They knew what troubles might be. So they were hired in that sense. You can take it like that to help us tackle one of the one of the world's roughest seas, the Southern Indian Ocean, Dakshini Hind Mahasagar. There is a river, there is a sea bigger than that and there is an ocean. Ocean is a big thing. But sometimes we, we cry oceans of tears, isn't it, in our subject. Okay, that's it for today. I just tried to give you an insight how they tried to initiate the journey they, with, with, with an intention to replicate somebody's journey that had been done 200 years ago and what troubles they face in uh, this voyage and how they emerge as victorious saints. Where would they land? There is no land in uh, the ocean. Ocean is wherever you would find it would be waters, waters and waters. And you cannot drink it. It's saline, it's salty. So you have to take good care of all the things you have to save yourself. This is the ultimate mission. And you have to complete the journey because that was the thing, that was the intention, that was the objective of taking that initiative, isn't it? If you die, what's the use? So they have to stay safe and everybody must be living when they move to the extreme point, the exit of that. Okay, so this chapter is in that sense beautiful. So we'll, uh, we'll continue with that. Thank you for listening well. Uh, may God bless all of you. Keep learning. Thank you. Have a bright day ahead. Have a learning day ahead. You may send in your feedback whenever you have time. Uh, it would motivate me. It would help me to, to gain an insight into where I'm heading to. Okay. Thank you. God bless you.